What is good people, in this video we're covering can you build muscle in a calorie deficit and if so how can this be done and what sort of people can actually do it. Firstly a lot of fitness people get this question all the time because most people on the planet what they want to do is lose fat and build muscle at the same time. If you're someone brand new to lifting and you're in a deficit technically you will still be able to build muscle because it's a new stimulus to your body. Just the percentage of how much you're going to build is just minuscule compared to if you actually was in a calorie surplus, depending on your starting point. But right now we're going to the different body types which will actually benefit and not benefit from actually training while in a calorie deficit to actually try and build some mass. If you're pretty obese, if you're training and in a calorie deficit you'll still build muscle purely because you have so much extra body fat on your physique that as soon as you start resistance training you're going to be burning more calories and thus start losing weight especially if you're obviously new to lifting and it's weird because most people that are overweight they don't want to do weight training they want to only do cardio and then their theory is that once they get slim then they'll try and build muscle but in reality that body fat is going to go down and your muscle tone is definitely going to increase while you're weight training it's one of those things that you may not be able to notice it instantly because you've got so much body fat covering all the new muscle that's been built but trust me you're the best type of people to actually benefit from actually building muscle in a calorie deficit I know the theory is that obviously to build muscle you have to be in a surplus but if you're overweight you can't be going into a surplus you're already way over like the body fat you're meant to be so you going into a surplus now is insane so in this case you don't need to be eating extra calories trying to build muscle because you have all those extra calories you've ate over the years are already on your body the fuel's already there you can just simply get into like a slight calorie deficit and train that doesn't mean slash your calories by a thousand day one it means in your case probably drop it by like 500 calories and then just hit the gym Next up we are going to jump to the opposite end which is the skinny fat type of person and these are the people that actually ask this question the most. They're the ones that want to be able to lose fat and build muscle at the same time. The problem with that situation is people in the skinny fat realm, or a lot of them, they may have been potentially chubby before so what they did was they did non-stop cardio trying to lose that fat off and potentially even cut their calories severely low trying to lose that fat and they're at that point where now most of their body is pretty skinny but they have stubborn fat in certain areas of their body. This is why if you're in that skinny fat type of frame in this area, it wouldn't be smart for you to stay in a calorie deficit and trying to build muscle. Like if you're new to lifting, yes you potentially will build a little bit of muscle to your frame. However, because you're in a deficit and you're already pretty skinny as it is, the percentage of muscle you're going to build is going to be so insignificant to, compared to if you actually slightly started eating a little bit more the right amount of calories for your size and weight and then eventually slowly up to them. One reason is your body just needs the extra calories to kind of get your metabolism back to where it actually should be. You shouldn't be under eating to the point where your body is basically storing excess body fat for no apparent reason just because it thinks that you're severely under eating. Number two, the extra amount of calories you're eating will give you a lot more energy and actual strength when you're actually training, which means you'll probably be able to lift more weights over time, which means you're gonna build more muscle. If you can do more time under tension, more reps, and lift heavier weights over time, and basically do progressive overload and slowly increase, you're gonna be able to build more mass. If you're already skinny, and then you're going into a deficit even further, and trying to lose that little bit of body fat and build muscle, it's almost a waste of time in a sense. You need to really be real with yourself and establish that it takes time to build muscle. Even when you're new, yeah, it's quicker when you're a newbie, but to build a good quality amount of muscle, you need to increase the calories. You, it doesn't even mean you have to go into a crazy big surplus. It could just mean that you are currently under eating as it is. Let's push your calories back up to maybe maintenance what your weight and height should be. Stay there for a good few months and then depending on how your physique looks, you build it up. But the key thing is, is that once you start building muscle on your frame, these little stubborn fat areas will look less visible because as your shoulders get bigger, your arms get bigger, your lats start building, the bit that stuck out is like a really big podgy belly, it's not going to appear as drastic because you're going to have muscle on your frame which is going to give you that physique and then that body fat is going to more distribute. So yeah, skinny fat people, I personally don't believe you should be in the calorie deficit range. Next up what we have is just the average male, so you're not super obese over there and you're not like super skinny or skinny fat, you're just the typical male, probably don't really have a high protein diet, you probably have maybe takeaway once or twice a week, probably 20, maybe 23% body fat on average 
and you probably don't train. So this type of person now, basically all you have to do now is start the gym, you're gonna build muscle, slowly gains like a slight calorie deficit. It doesn't have to be huge, even just 150 calories deficit, they can definitely build muscle while being in that calorie deficit because an average male probably isn't under eating, they're eating maybe even a tad over what someone for their weight and size probably should be eating anyway. And they can probably still trim down while building muscle. So in regards to just the title of the video, which is, can you build muscle in a calorie deficit? Yes, you can. However, you want to build the optimal amount of muscle, I assume. So that's where your starting position definitely is a factor. The one realm where I say that it's not optimal to be training and trying to build muscle in a calorie deficit is if you're super, super skinny and potentially on the lower end of the skinny fat kind of frame. Those type of physiques, it's just not beneficial. It doesn't make sense. I know in your head you feel like you can just train in a calorie deficit when you're skinny fat and end up looking like Christian Guzman or Matt Olgas or flipping Arnold Schwarzenegger to the crazy ones. And while being in this deficit, it's not gonna happen. You're much better off trying to at least get yourself up to at least maintenance for someone your height and weight on, on average and then see how your physique goes for a few months. Then, based on the results, decide whether you wanna slowly get into a calorie surplus or simply stay at maintenance while you train. Cause you're still gonna be building good amount of muscle for the first a year to two years of your training on your physique, and that's when you build your foundation. Anyways, people, like, comment, subscribe. If you need any more help, feel free to hit other videos on my channel, or just go in the description box. There's many sort of guides and routines I have. Stay getting games, people. Deuces.